Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Essence. Welcome back to another video. So almond perfumes, there's so many of them out there. Some of them are floral, some of them kind of smell like amaretto, some of them are a little bit on the sweeter side of things. In today's video, we're gonna be going over 10 almond perfumes and I'm gonna be letting you know why I enjoy each one of these fragrances so much. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin this video and I tell you about these 10 almond fragrances in my collection, and I tell you why I enjoy them and why I think you should try them if you haven't already tried them, I do wanna start things off by mentioning that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload another video. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's episode. I also wanna mention that if you're interested in sampling or purchasing any of these fragrances, you may do so at scentsplit.com. Great customer service, 100% authentic products and you can buy a little decant of a fragrance if you just want to try it you don't want to commit to purchasing a full bottle or something like that so really great service that I've been using for many 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 years like six or seven years now so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into the list and the first fragrance that I want to talk about is a beloved fragrance of mine I really adore this stuff by Mancera it's called Oud Lemon Mint so there's almond in here but it's kind of a secondary note and that's one of the things that you'll notice about some of these fragrances I know Guerlain's Tonka Imperial is a beautiful gourmand take on almond. And then you have Italica by Casa Morati, beautiful almond fragrance. This one, on the other hand, it has the oud. It has this bright citrusy component, but enough of that really bright and vivid mint that's in there. But it has a touch of that almond in the background that kind of reminds me of Le Medial by Guerlain. And it adds a really nice character and a really nice personality to the fragrance. Now, of course, another one that I love is Velvet Tonka by B. BDK Parfum. This Parisian brand has a lot of great creations. And this one, you have the Tonka, the Almond, the Heliotrope, and that's another thing too. Heliotrope is a floral ingredient that smells like almond. So in some of these fragrances, you'll notice that that almond vibe is compounded or amplified because there's also heliotrope used in the fragrance. But this is a beautiful gourmand take on almond, especially if you want something that kind of smells like a dessert, something edible, something on the sweeter side of things. I think Velvet Tonka by BDK is amazing. And then by Mask Milano, we also have Dulce Aqua. Now this is actually almond blossom. So you still get a little bit of that tart almond aroma that you're gonna find in some of the other fragrances here, but there's also like this floral component about it that I really enjoy. It's light, it's airy. The longevity is still there. It's probably not as long lasting as another fragrance in this collection called Madeline, which is a beautiful gourmand fragrance. This one, on the other hand, very bright, airy, but also has like a level of professionalism about it. So if you like almond, but you want something that's on the lighter side of things and you're trying to avoid gourmand almond perfumes, check out Dolce Aqua by Mask Milano. I think it's a great fragrance. Of course, this one I will take some credit for. Uh, this one is a biased release, if you will, because I directly worked on this fragrance, wrote the brief, named it. I'm the creative director for this fragrance by Navitus Parfum. It's called Absolutio. I met one of my favorite perfumers in the world. I took a trip to Paris, France. I met up with Bertrand Duchafour and we spoke about this fragrance. It's a beautiful gourmand take on almond with also a little bit of leather and oak moss and ambergris, but it also has a lot of gourmand ingredients like caramel and toffee and a little bit of like a coffee vibe to it as well. I personally love this fragrance. And if you've tried any of these fragrances so far, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What is your favorite almond fragrance? If you wanna take a little break from the video, let me know what fragrances are you enjoying recently. And if you have a favorite almond fragrance, drop a comment below and let me know what it is. Now this fragrance I don't think is carried at Sensplit, but I love this one. And I always have to remind myself what it's called because it has such a long name, but I know the brand is Tresardi. This is called Aperitivo Milanese Porta Nuova from the Levi di Milano collection. So this fragrance, just to put it simply, <laughs> smells like Infusion Damande by Prada. It's an awesome fragrance. It has this sort of iris and almond combination where it smells like 
very fresh and very clean, but it also has that tartness from the almond, that spiciness, if you will. And this is an incredibly versatile fragrance. Velvetanka, special occasion. Absolutio, special occasion. But this one by Tresardi, you can wear it anytime. And I really appreciate the versatility of this almond perfume. Now, the next fragrance is Almond and Jasmine by Inicio Parfum. It's called High Frequency. So basically what you're gonna get from this fragrance is a really natural smelling, photorealistic jasmine note. So if you're a fan of floral perfumes, but you don't want it floral in the way that Dulce Aqua is floral with that almond blossom, you want something that's a little bit more on the cleaner side of things. I know Iris, for example, like the one found in the Tresardi, can kind of sometimes smell like lipstick or a cosmetic bag. If that's not what you're going for, you're going for a very clean, tranquil, white floral kind of a vibe, but you also want that almond in the background. High Frequency by Nisio is a great one. And another thing that I've noticed about fragrances from this brand as well, they last a very, very long time. The next fragrance I wanna talk about is actually a fragrance that I have in my collection, but I think I left my bottle at another location where I usually shoot my videos as well. And of course, it's none other than Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Straight by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Of course, I think everybody out there knows that fragrance. You have the sort of cotton candy vibe, you have the almond, you have the grandiflorum uh, jasmine from Egypt, if I'm not mistaken. And then you also have the saffron, which adds a little bit of a spicy kick, but I personally love the X-ray version. And in many ways, I prefer it over the original, although I think it's the original that has received iconic status. I really do love the X-ray version as well and I find that it lasts a little bit longer on my skin. Of course, another one by Jovoy is called 21 Conduit Street. Now this one actually has an amaretto accord and I love it so much. It's amaretto, grapefruit. There's a little bit of like a dark leathery component in the base as well. And I love that contrast between the bright tartness of the grapefruit and the spiciness of the almond. Performance on this one is excellent as well. I will forego any further commentary on it because I've actually done a video. So I'm going to leave a card to that up here. And then of course, there is a shared number one spot, if you will, because both of these are kind of similar but different. Same, same, but different, right? So we have Pegasus and Pegasus Exclusif by Parfum de Marly. Now, this is, I think, the first Parfum de Marly fragrance I ever purchased. It was either this one or Herod, but this is an awesome almond-based fragrance that kind of gives off a vibe similar to Hypnotic Poison by Anique Minardo, who happens to be the perfumer for that Christian Dior composition. And then Pegasus Exclusive with the Agarwood gets a little bit darker, a little bit denser, perhaps even a little bit more of an emphasis on the vanilla, but it's incredibly versatile. There's a spicy component to it. The almond is really flavorful and the longevity is comparable, although I would say it's probably a little bit better in the Pegasus Exclusive, but now that we're entering the spring, I would probably recommend the original Pegasus, but if you go pretty light on the trigger and you're gonna be wearing it mostly in a climate-controlled environment, Pegasus Exclusive will serve you very well all year round. There you have it, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed the video. These have been 10 plus Baccarat Rouge 540. 10 almond-based fragrances that I personally enjoy and ones that I would recommend to you if you're interested in familiarizing yourself with what almond smells like in fragrances and you wanna diversify the amount of fragrances that you've tried that contain the note of almond. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload future content. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite almond-based perfume. And if you don't have one, just let me know what has been your favorite fragrance lately. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.